After contacting Facebook to make another CCPA data portability request, I received the email from Facebook telling me that I can access specific information about activity on Facebook, including posts, photos, reactions, comments, and messages, as well as other information through Access Your Information tool at www.facebook.com slash ccpa slash access your information. Let's take a look at that URL. What's there? Oh, so they put it behind a login. Well, that violates the law, doesn't it? Because now I can't access the data. I can't access that page unless I'm logged in. And if Facebook has suspended my account, then they've prevented me from accessing that data, haven't they? Does that violate the law? Why, yes, it does. There's nothing in the law that says once the user has been suspended from your account, what well, if they violated the rules or if their content was racist? No. So let's log in for shits and giggles and see what Facebook is going to give me. Are they going to give me the content that they deleted? No, they're not. They're not going to give it to me. Your activity across Facebook. Let's see if they're going to give me my posts. Any of the posts from the Age of Consent Reform Group. Status. My public key was removed. Blockchain. Censorship on YouTube. January 7th. And then we have a big gap up until March 17th. So, okay, so after March 17th, there were some posts on Facebook to the Age of Consent Group, Age of Consent Reform Group, a group of political discussion designed specifically to facilitate discussion of the subject matter of various age of consent laws that have to do with when the government decides to punish people for having consensual voluntary wanted sex. At what age does the partner's, person's partner become pu punished, right? If somebody's 17 and their partner is 18, or if the partner is 19 or and the person is 16, at, at, at which age and, and what is the punishment and does it matter if they've crossed state lines or if they've traveled to do so? What if they're married? What if they're not married? All of these various laws and idiosyncrasies and inconsistencies across state boundaries. That's what the purpose of the group was. It's a political group. And so Facebook banned it. <laughs> what a surprise. And now it's not here anymore. So Facebook called it a post, miscalled it a post, it was a group, and then deleted the group. And now all of the posts are magically gone. How swimmingly. Facebook has behaved. So Facebook is not following the law. There's nothing in the law that says, well, if the platform decides that they think you're icky or you might be racist or you said something mean. <laughs> no, the, the law doesn't have any of these bullshit social justice rules built into it. The law is what it is. It's clearly stated and it's implemented as law, not vague bullshit such as community standards. So that's what you get. Lies and bullshit from Facebook, violating the law flagrantly and getting away with it because the Office of the Attorney General does absolutely fucking nothing.